my name is princess you are all welcome to the first episode of my safe space this show gives the students the space or environment in which they are comfortable that they are not exposed to discrimination criticism harassment emotional or physical harm as a result in the view of matters that concern them on this episode you are going to ask our students what they think about parents coming in to report bad behaviors exhibited by their wards to their school authorities why do you think parents prefer this mode of training why can't they take actions themselves so this continue why do you think parents come in to report their wards to school authorities let's find out from our students i would like to know your view on parents reporting their wards school to school authorities for doing something bad at home and you think it's an act that should be continued or it's an act that should be stopped well i think it's an act that should be continued because uh, to make the students know that what he or she has done is very very bad have you ever experienced this oh no please you haven't so do you have a friend who has experienced this yes please i have a friend who has experienced this before okay so if you're supposed to be in your friend's shoes how will you have reacted oh i'll get in deep down myself and get to know what I've done and then change for the better. Okay, I I mean you being caught in front of everybody in, in school and being penalized for doing that action. How would you have felt at that moment? Oh, there will be some emotional and then mentally uh, mental trauma as well, but I also take it down and get to know that what I've done is very, very bad. I think there should be another alternate method that could be used instead of reporting them to their school authorities. Okay, um, what I think is good is you have to sit the person down and then talk to the person and tell the person this and this and this that you've done is very, very bad. So you shouldn't continue this or you should stop this. Okay, thank you for sharing your view. Space, I'm Princess, your name is? Whitney. Whitney, today I'd like you to share your view on parents reporting their words to school authorities for doing something bad at home. It's good, but somehow bad. So why is it good or bad? Because the good one is, he might feel ashamed and might never do it again. The bad one is, it might cause stigmatization because the peers will be pointing at him doing this, be calling him names. So you think this can cause emotional trauma to the individual or the world? Yes. It can. So do you think there can be any method how this issue can be addressed they should settle it at home you are for the most they should settle the issue at home and it shouldn't be brought to school your name is i'm raj raj i would like you to share your view on parents reporting their words to school authorities for doing something bad at home and do you think it's an act that should continue or an act that should be stopped? I think it should continue. Why should it continue? Because when sometimes the, the child will be frightened when um, he or she knows that her case is with the school authority. And he or she may, may, be, may, may stop the bad act he or she is performing. Okay, have you ever experienced this yourself? No. So what if you are supposed to be in the shoes of someone who has been reported by their parents to their school authorities? I will feel embarrassed and, sh and, and, and I will feel like, I will feel bad, totally bad. You feel totally bad. So do you think um, there should be another method or way which can, which this issue can be addressed rather than reporting them to their school authorities? Yes. And the method is? I think the parent should have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with the child. Or the parent should, uh, the parent should, should rather call the, the father of the child or any relative so that they can counsel the child after, after, after telling him what to do. They can counsel him before they do the act. Okay, Raj, thank you for sharing your view. You're welcome. I'd like to know your view on parents 
reporting your war like their wars to school authorities for doing something which is not right at home. You know, I think it's a good idea. Why is it a good idea? The child won't respect the mistake again, but it's somehow too bad. Why is it bad? Sometimes if they address the issue in front of the mates, the child may feel bad. The child won't even the mates will even feel that the child is how he or she was at first. It even happened here the last time. So I don't think it's a good idea. So do you think this can cause stigmatization? Yes, very it can cause stigmatization. I'd like to know your reason for that. As soon as you are this great, and sometimes it's even happened in front of your juniors. Sometimes even if they see you, let's say it's a theft, something that was addressed here. The children will start calling you T for other things. They come stigmatize you, not even feel like attending school. It might even cause truancy. So it's not good. It's not good. So why do you think parents report their wars to school authorities rather than settling the matter at home? Some think it's right and it's somehow right. Because some children don't have the fear or like something like if they are ashamed, they feel like normal students. But if they address it at home, it will somehow be repeated again. It will even somehow be repeated in the school, which will bring disgrace to the parents. So they want to address it in the school before they address it at home. So do you think there are other methods or alternatives that can be used to address these issues rather than reporting them to their school authorities? I don't think so. Safe space. I am Princess. And your name is Shemima. Shemima, today I would like you. I like to know your view on parents reporting their wars to school authorities for doing something bad at home. And do you think it's an act that should continue or an act that should be stopped? I think an act that should be stopped. Why should it be stopped? It should be stopped because, um, like, house matter should be house matter and school matter should be house ma eh, school matter we shouldn't come in like our parents shouldn't come in embarrass us in front of our classmates and those things and like we can keep house matters in the house personally and school matters should be personally so you believe in the principle that matter things that happen at home should stay at home and things that happen in school should stay in school yes so have you ever experienced this? No, no. You haven't. So do you think there should be any method that could be used rather than reporting them to their school authorities? It's just in the house. I'd like to know your view on parents reporting their words to school authorities for doing something really bad at home. Do you think it's something that should continue or it's something that should be stopped? In my point of view, I think that is something that it needs to be abolished. Why? Because when the student is reported, the student is keen and disgraced in front of a whole lot of people standing in front. And that's not when the person goes to the class, the person is being teased and mocked by his friends. And I think that's an act that needs to be abolished. Uh, why do you think parents report their words to school? authorities for doing something bad at home instead of settling that issue at home example uh, a child watching too much television and that child is being reported to the school authorities i think that like that issue or that problem with their child is beyond their their control or be or that child is being disobedient to the parent when the parent tells him or her not to watch that television and so i think that's one reason that the parent goes to report because the parent thinks that the teacher has a higher control over the student over the parents. And you think because it's of the school authorities and they take control of our education system, so the child is willing to adhere to what the school authorities is going to say? Yeah, because the teachers are like higher imposed and they can punish them anytime than their parents. Sometimes the parents might be lenient on the child because of what he's doing, but the parents, uh, the teacher will be straight on the student, knowing that like he wants to reform the student of the bad deed that is being done by that student. Okay, thank you for sharing your views. I'd like to know your view on parents reporting their 
children or was to school authorities for doing something bad at home and you think it's something that should continue or it should stop it's a good idea why is it a good idea it's a good idea because sometimes we are closer to our friends more than our parents because we come to school we spend more time in school so when you like when a, a person does something bad at home the matter is being addressed in front of the person's friend the person will feel this grace and because of that this grace the person will not be willing to do that action again and don't you think that that disgrace can have a negative influence on the person being disgraced in front of your friends yeah it might have a negative influence on the person but i think the positive influence should be more than the negative influence but because of the disgrace the person won't repeat that action again even though the person will feel hurt inside okay so have you ever experienced this yourself no you haven't so if you're supposed to be in that person's shoes being disgraced in front of your friends how would you have felt at that moment I feel very bad, but because of, I don't want to feel that way again, I won't repeat that action. Okay, thank you. Welcome to our safe space. I am Princess and you are? Jonas. Jonas, today I would like to know your view on parents reporting their words to school authorities for doing something which is not right at home. Do you think it has an, a, a negative effect on the person? The person can think about it to extend that when the child is teaching the class, he or she is not paying attention so she's uh, he or she's absent-minded yes so have you ever experienced this yourself oh but i know one person who have, my friend who has experienced it before but i know okay so if you're supposed to be in your friend's shoes how would i have felt at that moment i would feel ashamed and bad because for me when someone does or oh, i am put to shame it sometimes brings my spirits down so I lose concentration sometimes. Okay, and I would like to know on your view whether there are other methods that can be used to address this issue rather than reporting them to their school authorities. Oh, they can bring the word to the school to report, but not in front of his friends. Because the friends are the ones who tease him and that will influence him to do what is bad. Okay, Jonas, thank you for sharing your view on this.